Good evening, everybody. I went to La Plata and Queen City tonight. That's the good news. The bad news is there were some technical difficulties with my tape. So guess what? I don't have any highlights. Sorry about that. We'll be back at another time. However, Camity had better luck in Iowa. Yes, I did. We had a couple rival games in Iowa between Alvia and EBF. We'll start with the girls. But before we get to the highlights, here's an opening shot of Alvia's choir. It was nice to hear a live version of the national anthem now. Now, EBF in black, Tasha Alexander is given room. She takes advantage and nails the long three. Then Sarah Clark of Alvia matches it a little later. But that would be the only field goal from the Lady D's in the first half. Next up, Ashley Pilcher from EBF gets two in the lane. The Rockets led the entire first half, but the Lady D's came alive in the second, taking the lead. Tonight really came down to free throws. Albia shooting 18 of 35, and EBF only shooting 11 total. Albia won this one, 42 to 32. Next up, it's the Moton Udell girls against Moravia. Moravia in blue. Peyton Rogers scores in the paint at the other end. Jackie Inman will put it in. Hannah Eastlick would go baseline for two points. Rachel DeLook has more range than Amanda Moravia would go on to win it 65 to 29. Again, a matchup that's never boring, the Albia and EBF boys. EBF losing their big man to graduation last year, but no problem. Junior Jevin Jensen picked up a slack, first with a three-pointer to get his team going. A nice dish from Albia's Zach Hugan to Luke Sarver for a bucket and a free throw. Sarver would make the three-point play. Then Connor Glosser for EBF picks up the rebound putback. Then the big man from Albia, Victor Sanders, hits a mid-range jumper. Our highlights will finish right where they started with EBS Jensen getting two in the lane. Albia would take this one 58 to 31. It's always a close game when Moravia takes on Moton Udell. Moravia's Austin Wilson gets the basket off the missed shot. Moton Udell's Austin Harris can handle himself in the paint, thank you. Meanwhile, teammate Dalton Porosco is pure from the baseline. And Jonathan Johnson connects from close range. Moton Udell wins it 64 to 55. The Nobinger boys lost to Marion County 74 68, while Nobinger lost the girls' game 59 30. We'll have the rest of the scores on the scoreboard in just a minute. The Kirksville boys and girls return to action Saturday as they will travel to Chillicothe. The boys are off to a 7 and 4 start. To keep Uncle Mo on board, the Tigers have been working hard on the little things. Well, we've been able to come in and kind of fine-tune some, some things with our shooting mechanics, and, and we actually got a lot of individual work in. Um, you know, all three coaches were there. We, we split up a little bit this little bit this week. They were getting somebody on them all week, working on their shot, getting extra shots up, 